How about the 12th? Yeah, the 12th sounds great. What are you saying, the 12th of what? The 12th of never, you fool. Oh, the 12th of never. <laughs> Good one. Sean, <sighs> I don't think you hiccuped as much as usual that time. <laughs> Have you ever considered just being yourself when you ask a girl out? <laughs> Tried that. The best thing I could say about the whole experience is that the swelling went down. Look, just try to relax. I bet your nervous habits will completely disappear. Look, it's Spence, Spencer. <sighs> okay, okay. Breathe into this bag, come on. Wait a second. What was that you were saying about relaxing? Hi, I'm, I'm Tamira, and I'll be your bringer of co coffee this evening. Yeah, I recognized you. Probably because I see you every day. Oh, right. Um, sorry. Have you seen a doctor about that yet? Um, would you excuse me a minute? You know, you really should consider carrying that around with you at all times. Maybe. There's biscotti in here. Great, now I'm hyperventilating and inhaling extra calories. Damn. What did the crew of the Enterprise say when they went into the Italian pastry shop? <laughs> Beam me up, biscotti! <laughs> <laughs> You know, if that slice gets any worse, that ball's gonna be the star attraction in Nigel's Tuna Surprise. Well, thank you, Tiger Woods. Wanna hit a couple? Remember when you used to caddy for me? Let's not take that trip down memory lane. Let's just hit a few balls, all right? Sure. You seem pretty happy lately, Max. Castle, you got anything to do with that? <laughs> this, uh, this bonding thing's nice, but let's not push it, all right? Okay. Okay, when the atoms are on opposite sides, the isomer is called trans. I don't get it. Okay, see the carbon atom. No, I mean Sean. Why does he have so much trouble with girls? Maybe it's the uncontrollable belching every time he's around one. Hiccuping. Whatever. I have a theory. Major body noise gets in the way of major romance. Okay, next, we observe the catalyst and we anticipate the chemical reaction. You know, you'd think somebody would appreciate his charm, his intelligence, his, his sense of humor. <gasps> Look what you've done! This is not a molecule. This is... Oh, this is Jimmy's hair at breakfast or something. I... Look, you cannot concentrate on this project and talk about your crush on Sean at the same time. Crush, that's ridiculous. Sean is my friend. <laughs> I'm your friend. And I don't hear every other word out of your mouth being my name. Well, I just think if you knew anything about relationships, you would realize that Sean and I are so compatible and like each other way too much to mess it up by doing something ridiculous like going out with each other. You guys are really good. Thank you. Considering the ship has a definite downward lie. Not to mention the water hazard. You ever play Cass? No, but how hard can it be? It's not like you're wearing rollerblades or anything. You're right. Uh, why don't you two guys play through? I've got some ship's business I gotta finish up. You two are so cute together. Hey, it's not like we're baking brownies or anything. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. 
See, your hands are too far apart there, you see? Okay. Close together. Ooh, I like the physical part of this game. Yeah. Hey, Max, what's up with your dad, man? He just snagged my basketball. Like throwing it at Tim Muckaluck was really inappropriate behavior. What a fossil. Alex, why are you harping on Max's dad? What are you talking about? I don't harp on him half as bad as Max here does. Right, man? Yeah, I guess so. Go, 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 okay. Come on. Oh, look at it. Ow! Oh my god, I hate truth or dare. Are you kidding? Oh, your tongue, my palm, a condiment that I love. You guys call it truth or dare, but I call it dream come true, baby. Excuse me while I go hurl, okay. take a shower, and then probably hurl again. Right. right. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Tamira, it's your turn. Truth or dare? Truth. Oh. Okay, here's one. Do you have a crush on Sean? Connery? No, although I loved him in The Rock. Sugar, I think she means Sean Hanlon. Did I say truth? I I meant dare. Okay, then I dare you to tell us if you have a crush on Sean and that's completely not fair. That's okay. But I'm daring you to go over there and give him a kiss right now. No way! Oh come on, sugar. As far as dares go, you're getting off easy. Poor little Cassidy has probably contracted some streptococcus thing from Jimmy's fingers. <laughs> hey, maybe we should just have her go over to Sean and lick some ketchup. All right. Sean, mm -hmm. don't be mad. This is totally not personal, and I'll explain everything later. What? 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 Oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Sean, wait! <laughs> Man, I don't believe Captain Ahab had a total meltdown over a little blading. Max, man, your dad is on a total power trip. Yeah. Nobody told you to go around scratching up the whole deck with your lame blade and stunts. Seems like it runs in the family. Hey, baby has got better things to do than babysit you and your steakhead friends, huh? He's talking about us, you do. Look, Max, your dad's being a jerk. Not that I'm telling you anything you don't already know. Yeah, well, why don't you back off more, right? It's a free ocean. You know what? I said back off. Who's gonna make me? I am! Max, cut it out! Hey! 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 I said cut it out! Now, would someone like to tell me what this is all about? Fine. You boys finish the deck, and you consider yourself grounded. Talk to Sean. Is he in your cabin? Uh huh. He's in there. Please make it. Up. <gasps> I'm choking. <laughs> <laughs> nice uh, seeing you. I do she in the Not at all. Look, about last night, when I came to explain to you about what had happened in the coffee house, um, we were playing Truth or Dare. Yeah, I know. Asked... You saw Denise standing up on the table saying, shake your booty. You gotta figure that wouldn't happen voluntarily. They dared me to kiss you, and I... 
Well, anyways, it's not important. I just want to put it all behind us. I mean, because I barely saw it. I, I, no. You know what, Tamara? I don't really want to go there, okay? But, but, no, but I... Oh, gee, see? I say I don't want to talk about it. And there you go, bringing it up again and again and again. I didn't mean but. Oh. I meant but, but, but. But this is so stupid. Look, why don't, why don't we just, you know, deal with it? Because it hasn't really changed anything between us. <laughs> just kissed your earlobe and saw your naked backside. <laughs> You're right. I don't know. I guess I picture you telling your friends and laughing and describing and all. I wouldn't do that. I promise. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi, Denise. Hey there, sweet cheeks. <laughs> What? Oh, God. Well, you know, we can still go out. Yeah, with your curfew. Even my four-year-old nephew Tucker gets to stay up past Rugrats. Oh, come on, it's not a life sentence. But why are you so stubborn? If you just told your dad why you were mad at Alex, I'm sure he let you off. Yeah, right. Like, hey, Dad, the only reason why I was gonna deck Alex was because he made a crack about you. Sure, he'll believe that. Well, it's the truth. Besides, you and your dad have been getting along pretty well lately. So? Okay, why don't I tell him? No, don't even think about it. I don't need my girlfriend fighting my battles. Well, it's not like you've been doing so well yourself lately. Yeah, well, stay out of it. It's between me and my dad. You have to tell Ballard that the fight was your fault. You're crazy. He was defending his dad. Oh yeah, the same dad he's been dissing all year. Max and his dad have had their problems, but they're working things out. Or at least they were. What are you talking about? Max doesn't even like his dad. Alex, have you ever had a time when you didn't exactly like your dad? Yeah. But that doesn't mean you still didn't love him, right? Listen, Veronica, um, uh, what do you say? Maybe we go out, huh? Don't hold your breath. <sighs> She's not gonna go out with me, all right. I didn't mean that. Really? You mean you go out with me? Of course not. What I meant was for the hiccups. Holding your breath never works. Standing in your head is actually the best thing. <laughs> Listen, on one date, I'm a lot of fun. Really? No, good. listen. Here you go. What did the crew of the Enterprise say when they went into the Italian pastry shop, huh? Excuse me? No, no. They said, beam me up, Biscotti. <laughs> beam me just right on up. Because they usually say, Scotty. Not this time. That's Veronica. Last of the beasts. I gotta tell you, I'm not optimistic about the girls beginning with W, X, Y, and Z. What about that new kid who's coming in in the port in New York? Oh, Winnie? Oh, no, dude, I checked out. Winnie's a guy. Huh. So I guess roses won't help, huh? <laughs> just see someone who's easy to be with, you know? Um, like Tamira? Someone who laughs at my jokes. Yeah, but like Tamira? <laughs> someone who can put up a little hiccuping now and again. <laughs> okay, dude, why don't you just admit it that maybe she's the one? <laughs> I already told you, Winnie's a guy. I'm not Winnie, Tamira. Tamira? <laughs> no, no way. Not ex especially not after she spread the word around the ship about my adorable little backside. Tell you something, I'm just lucky I finished that buns of steel tape. Okay, Sean, you wouldn't be making such a big deal out of this if you didn't have a little thing for Tamira, right? I, I do not have... Oh, gosh. Tamira... Did you think? Yeah, but I mean, what do I know, dude? I'm like, I'm like the only living American male who's dated less than you have, you know? But I mean, hey, who knows? Maybe we'll never get girlfriends, right? <laughs> because, you know, it wouldn't matter because we'll always have each other. For, but, um, Sean, where are you going? 
Okay, or I'll just have myself, which is fine too. So don't hold it against him. I shouldn't have said what I did. Well, not in front of Max, anyway. Yeah. I used to be on this Pee Wee football team, and we were always making fun of the coach. Oh, so you've done this before. <laughs> not exactly. The coach was my dad. Well, Alex, anyone who accepts a position of authority, whether it's on a team or on a ship, they've got to expect the occasional minor mutiny. You learn to have a pretty thick skin. You don't worry about what people say about you. I guess. So you're cool with Max on this? Yeah, I'll go speak to him right now. Oh, Alex. Yeah? What exactly did you say about me? <laughs> hey. Listen, uh, I've been thinking a lot about you and uh, me. Well, actually, a little more about you. Sorry, Sean. I'm already dating somebody. <laughs> Lenny, hi. Listen, you seen Tamara anywhere? Uh, yeah, man, you just missed her. She's out with Spencer. <laughs> Isn't it cool? She was hyperventilating so hard when, uh, when he asked her that she actually saw stars. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, well, if that's not true love, I don't know what is, eh? Come in. Your punishment has been moved to the deck. Report there in five minutes. So what, you gonna make me swab the deck? Walk the plank? No. I believe we were on the 14th at Pebble Beach when we left off. I get it. I heard about what really happened with you and Alex. I can't believe Cassidy. I told her not to say anything. Cassidy didn't say a word. Alex? You know, Max, if you had just told me what happened in the first place, we could have come to some kind of understanding. <laughs> Dad, I know you. You still would have grounded me. I probably would have. But that's because physical violence never solves anything, Max. Unless, of course, you're a professional hockey player. Look, Max, one of the reasons I wanted you to come on board here was so that we could get to know each other again, spend some time together. So you up for that? Well, actually, there is, um, there is one thing I'd sort of like to talk to you about. What's that? It's that slice of yours. I don't think it's possible, but it's actually getting worse. Slice. Uh, I'm getting a lesson now? Grab a ball. That's not bad. I had a good teacher. That's so sweet. Max and his dad are getting along. You know what's even sweeter? What? Max's curfew's over tomorrow night. Well, you're back early. <sighs> so how was the date? It was okay. Um, I, I can finish up here if you want. Oh, thank you. Your pal Sean's been talking my ear off all night about his this rotten social life. I mean, my grandmother goes out more than this guy. Sean? Mm. You look terrible. Uh, oh. Yeah, well, you know, I can't uh, handle whipped cream like I used to. Um, listen, I heard about you and uh, Spencer. So, congratulations. Uh, well, I wanted to talk to you about that. Um, do you want to take a walk? Or is it too late? <laughs> you kidding? Well, but after all this caffeine, I'll be up till July. <sighs> I'm, I'm glad you came by. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Are you hyperventilating? Must have been um, all the cappuccinos. Probably the altitude. <laughs> yeah, we're at sea level. Oh. You don't think that we? we... Oh no, of no. course not. No. no. Well, not that it would be. Oh, well, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jara. 
Yeah, I heard it sometimes. First for Jacob, too. You look real pretty. 